So, are you a Prince Harry fan? Are you like me? When Meghan Markle took Prince Harry, we're all so broke, <laughs> but also excited because we love Meghan Markle to death. I love Meghan Markle. I love her. She's so perfect for Prince Harry. She's such a Diana. I can't even fathom. I can't handle it. I love her to, to bits. <sighs> However, one of you asked if there was an African prince that we can compare to Prince Harry. And I'm going to talk to you today about the prince that really relates to Harry in so many ways. And he happens to be an African prince as well. And he happens to live right here in the United States. If you're interested in this information, stay tuned. Many of you tuned in because you wanted to find out the similarities between the African prince who mimics Prince Harry. So as you know, Prince Harry is not the only prince walking around. And many of you don't know that we have African princes walking around, especially here in the West. So today I thought that I would do a fun video that would compare the similarities between an African prince, and I'm gonna name him here in a second, and Prince Harry. And so without further ado, I'm gonna get right to it. The first commonality between Prince Emmaus Selassie of Ethiopia and Prince Harry of the United Kingdom is the fact that Prince Selassie was actually born in 1960. He's a little older than Prince Harry, but they share the succession of the throne in the same way. Prince Selassie is ninth in line to the Ethiopian throne. Prince Harry is sixth in line to the United Kingdom throne. And one of the biggest differences between Prince Selassie and Prince Harry is that Prince Selassie comes from the house of David. So he actually has royal blood dating back to King David in biblical times. And so it's very interesting kind of seeing that his grandfather, was actually an emperor so it's interesting how the seniority in terms of royalty comes in here even though in terms of succession to the throne they are a little bit similar the second cool tip that uh, can be compared with prince selassie and prince harry is that prince both prince selassie and harry um they their grandparents were actually uh kings and queens here in harry's case so they are the grandchild of a monarchy and so it's interesting to kind of see how they've grown up in similar ways like with lots of privilege remember how we used to see harry kind of walking around when he was young with diana and charles well that was the same for prince samayas growing up and the people who actually follow him um it's interesting to be able to see them both grow up with you know somewhat of a royal privilege and um their grandparents were actually the um in charge of these kingdoms and what i have done to support this video today because i know a lot of you don't know prince samayas is i've gone ahead and um actually put in a video um and uh, you know here um in the information bar and that video actually has a taping of prince samayas by the voice of america in washington dc talking among other things about how he um, envisioned his grandfather growing up because he was a part of the royal court when he was younger very much just like we saw harry uh, growing up um, as a child of charles and diana the third similarity with prince harry and prince asamayas of ethiopia which is really interesting here is that both were educated in great britain prince uh, prince Samayas actually got his education in the United States and also in the in the United Kingdom and Prince Harry got his education in the United Kingdom and I wonder if they ever crossed paths or if they ever just bonded over royal things. Um, it's very interesting to realize that. The third commonality between both princes is they now both currently live in the United States. Harry lives in LA, Prince Samayas lives in Washington DC and get this, their wives both have sons. Prince Samayas has twin boys, Prince Christian and Prince Raphael of Ethiopia. And Prince Harry has Arch. I wonder if they're gonna have play dates or something. Really 
fascinating and interesting information. You know, one of the things that I often joked about is maybe Prince Christian or Prince Raphael, their twins, maybe one of them might actually end up with Princess Charlotte of the United Kingdom, and that will make Princess Charlotte an empress because then she'll be in charge of multiple kingdoms and not just one. And then I wonder how the cards would lay, right? Because an empress is better than a queen. The last common tip that Harry and Prince Amias have in common that is really interesting is they are both interested in cultural and humanitarian efforts. And I share this because a lot of people were very disappointed in Harry's decision to break away from royal tradition. What is interesting about African royalty is that participating in cultural and humanitarian efforts is actually expected as responsibilities and part of the throne, having an element of freedom and away from the press. This is not something that would make you have to leave the royal family. It is part of the responsibilities. And so it's unfortunate that for Harry, he had to leave some of those duties. But you know what's interesting is Harry is the first to do it for the British monarchy. Prince Amias and everybody else, they're used to this. They've done this. They're royal. This is something that has been in their family already. A lot of them are actually venturing into cultural and humanitarian efforts and have for years. So it's interesting seeing a younger dynasty in terms of um, where Harry comes from, kind of emerging into their greatness within this regard. And this is one of the reasons why I know that Prince Harry and Meghan Merkel, their Royal Highness, are going to be just fine. There's a lot of princesses, well, maybe not a lot, but there are some who are living amidst us and doing really, really well. And so folks, well, that's it. So hopefully you got entertained by that video, but also felt that you could see the world differently. And I hope that you learned something new. And this is why I like to do these ancestry videos because I think there's many people who did not know that we have an African prince walking around, certainly not living in the West. And, um, and I hope that this made you kind of perceive things differently. And most importantly, perhaps understand Harry and Meghan Merkle as well. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you do like videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. Let's talk about this. Do you think that Harry breaking into the mold like the other princesses of the world is going to work for him? What are your thoughts on this? Is this the first time you're hearing about an African prince? What are your thoughts on Prince Amias? And remember to check out the video on Prince Amias if you've never heard of him by Voice of America in the information bar below. Until my next video, bye.